Hello, I'm Rebecca Pigram, Public Information Officer for Rockingham County. Today, we are joined by Ms. Rebecca Oakes, um, who has a new title. She works in our Public Health Department. So tell us a little bit about your new title yeah. and the whole reason that we're here today. Yeah, um, so uh, like she said, my name is Rebecca Oakes. I am the new Local Public Health Administrator here in Rockingham County. I'm very excited. The uh, position was created to help us to target the opioid epidemic here in Rockingham County. And the, we've also seen uh, statewide and nationwide. Um, so we're really excited to start uh, additional conversations around opioids here in Rockingham County and what we can do to mitigate their impact here um, for our county citizens. Perfect. Well, congratulations. That is awesome news, not just for you, but for our county as a whole. Um, let's start off with a little bit of what we know as far as the opioid epidemic that's going on in Rockingham County. Yeah, of course. So um, like I just mentioned, like it's not an epidemic that's happening just here in Rockingham County, right? This is a nationwide issue. Okay. Absolutely. Um, so there was a, a lawsuit that took place over several years um, that uh, the federal government has expended funds for from various companies that uh, pharmaceutical companies that helped to sort of like um, uh, propel the epidemic, uh, unfortunately. So those funds are going to be used uh, to disseminate to each of the states here in uh, the United States. And the states are disseminating those funds to the various counties um, within to help us to uh, fund projects to, again, mitigate the impact that we're seeing from the opioid epidemic in the various counties. Gotcha. So it's really a, a top dog thing that yep. kind of gets trinkled down. Mm -hmm. So literally people just like you and I mm -hmm. can get the help that we need. Yep. Awesome. So that's that's wonderful news. Let's talk a little bit about what's been done so far right. in Rockingham County. Yeah, excellent. So uh, last year, you know, you and I sat down last year and yes. had a quick conversation um, about what was going on. But uh, last year we um, conducted various focus groups uh, here in Rockingham County to glean information from our county citizens on uh, the different types of projects and initiatives that they wanted to see here in Rockingham County. Because um, it's one thing for us to go and say, hey, this is what we think should be done, right? As well, professionals. Exactly. But we want to hear from our county citizens, specifically um, the individuals that live here, that work here, that play here. What did they want to see us like using these funds to um, fund like various projects to target this epidemic, right? Exactly. Um, so we had nine focus groups with roughly 107 ish like participants that helped us to glean a little bit more information uh, around that. We also had a community survey that was disseminated that people could fill out if they couldn't make it to those focus groups so their voices could be heard. So we wanted to make sure that we heard from as many people as possible throughout the county so that again we got a diversified portfolio. Of feedback so that we could provide our county citizens with what it was that they um, wanted to see us doing with those funds. Absolutely. Um, so have we gotten those results back? Do we yeah. have an idea of where we're going with the information mm -hmm. that we received? Yeah. So um, those findings were, um, you know, we went out, collected the data, came back, digested that information, and our health director, Trey Wright, um, presented that information that we collected to our county commissioners. Um, and basically what we found from that is the community wants us to invest in um, early intervention programs, recovery support services, evidence-based addiction treatment, and our port expansion. So our post-overdose response team, we already have um, two of those set up throughout the county. We've got them at the Reedsville Police Department and the Eden Police Department, but our county citizens really want to see that expanded all across the county. Perfect. So I know when we talked, we know that there's kind of like a reactive mm -hmm. um, plan that we've been kind of operating on the past several years, but now it sounds like this plan is really going to be proactive right. so we can kind of get ahead of issues mm -hmm. before they become bigger issues right. and problems. Yep, and to your point, Rebecca, with the being the proactive, the, the early intervention strategies, a lot of our county citizens really stress want to have additional like educational like materials available um, in whatever way. They had many ideas on like sort of like what that looked like, whether it was their medical providers that were providing additional like um, education um, in office, or if we here at the health department, our health educators go out into the schools or to workplaces and offer like various talks and things like that around the opioid epidemic. And even you and I now having a, a discussion around like opioids, even just having a discussion that stuff's going on throughout the county mm -hmm. to help mitigate this um, is what we're like looking to, to start doing. Perfect. So we've talked about 
what brought on this problem, how we're trying to correct it. Is there a timeline that folks in Rockingham County could maybe see some changes around the ep- the opioid epidemic? Yeah, absolutely. So um, it's hard to give a specific, like, definitive timeline. Of course. Um, So we do have an opioid task force here in Rockingham County that we are reconvening. Um, We're actually meeting June uh, 28th. Uh, So we'll be collecting, we're coming uh, coming back together um, with various, like, different community organizations throughout the county, treatment facilities, various different constituents across the county. And we're going to be looking at the data that we just talked about and various different strategies that uh, our county citizens came up with to see how we can sort of like divide and conquer to make sure that we're maximizing our time and the efforts that um, we want to see um, uh, results from for our county citizens. So as far as like timelines concerned, it is going to be sort of like a slow moving, um, um, you know, throughout like the next like couple years. So right. I'm hoping to start seeing really... Um, a change of pace happening within the next like couple of years. Um, right now, there's a lot of conversations being had. Who's not at the table? Who do we need to bring to the table? What gaps in care are we seeing kind of thing? So um, once that gets sort of like up and going, then we should start seeing sort of more results and stuff like coming in. Right, because we, I mean, we learned when we were kids the scientific method. You really have to gather mm-hmm. all of your data all of your data mm-hmm. before you can really make change or right. see the change that you, that needs to be made. You know, you said um, just learning like who's who's at the table, which is your mm-hmm. opioid task force, mm-hmm. and who may be missing from those conversations. Can you tell us a little bit who is on that task force um, that you already like have set yep. that are going to be working towards Absolutely. this? Absolutely. So we've got um, some of our commissioners like to come in on those meetings, mm-hmm. uh, obviously myself. Um, our health director is coming. We've got various different providers. So we've got, um, you know, Daymark, uh, individuals from Daymark, Beautiful Mind Behavioral Health Services, like various different um, providers, like throughout the county. I'm also a health partner. providers. Health providers. Yes, correct. Um, we've got individuals from law enforcement, EMS, that deal with this, you know, on a first come first, you know, basis kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, first hand basis. Are, that are on uh, the front lines, right? We've also got individuals from the hospitals that are, are coming in as well, individuals that also work in the health department. Um, so we've got, you know, individuals from all walks of life that, that have, you know, already been brought to the table. And we open it up to anybody that feels like they want to have like a hand and, mm-hmm. you know, making an impact here in Rockingham County. And they just want to, even if they just sort of sit in on the meetings and can glean a little bit of information about like what's going on, I definitely invite them to contact me. That um, and they can also maybe bring their perspective. Mm-hmm. You know, they may reach a corner of our community that others might not have. Right. So they can bring their information mm-hmm. forward. But you know, conversation really starts everything. So they could take the information that they learn and disseminate it towards their Mm -hmm. little, their their small corner of Rockingham County. Exactly. So that's awesome. Um, So is there any way that we can, who can join the task force or information about the task force? Absolutely. So um, again, we're just reconvening. I mean, we're going to be doing like all kinds of like a marketing overture, making sure that our online presence is more prevalent. So if anybody wants to look us up, it's, you know, they'll be able to Google us like fairly easily. Okay. Um, If anybody wants to contact um, me directly to get involved with the task force, you're welcome to do so. My telephone number is 336-342-8258. You can also email me at roaks, that's O A K E S at co.rockingham.nc.us. It's quite a mouthful. Um, but, <laughs> and we'll link all this. We'll have it sure. on our on our screen and stuff yeah, like that. So but, they don't have to write it down. Um, you know, even if you can't make the meetings and you just want some information on what's going on, feel free to contact me. I can get you any kind of information it is that you need. And if I don't have it on hand, I can definitely get it to you. Um, so yeah, we're really excited to see sort of where these conversations are taking us and to really get some projects like up and off the ground here in the next like several months. Awesome. Well, that's great. Rebecca, you've given us a ton of information. Is there anything else that we might've missed that you want the folks at home to know? No, not right now. I think just stressing that this is an ongoing process that again, uh, we might not see things like happening, like right away, but we are working very urgently to make sure that we're going about this the right way so that whenever we um, do start having like projects like up and off the ground, that we're making sure that we're reaching, like you said, all four corners of the county, but also making sure that we're sticking to what our county citizens said that it is that they want to see us doing. So that's really imperative that we elevate the voice of our community and are saying and are doing and saying like things that they want to be done and said. Right. Like we want to make sure that we do this right the first time around. So we're not backtracking if we missed anything. Rebecca, thank you so much for this conversation today. You've 
enlightened me about several different things. I'm very excited to see how you take this role, this new role, um, and make Rockingham County a great place to be. If you at home have any questions regarding this, the Opioid Task Force, the Opioid Project, or just anything going on in Rockingham County, free, feel free to give me a call, Rebecca Pickram, your Public Information Officer at 336-589-0967.